A school now of the more orthodox kind, although there's not much orthodox about this place of learning, it's one of the nation's newest giant comprehensives and in fact a school of tomorrow for the children of today. This then is Mallory School in Downham, Kent, intended for 1,650 pupils who can leave or go on to university with no regrets about their school days. Apart from its attractive architecture, the whole approach to learning is enlightened. To an outsider, the most striking feature, apart from the normal academic syllabus, is the magnificent equipment in workrooms like this. In the commerce class, for example, there's no frantic squabbling over one battered old typewriter. They've got a battery of 36 new machines. Similarly, in dressmaking and needlework, the girls are no longer bored by the limitations of a few years ago. At one time, embroidery and crochet work were the only outlets for a student's creative ability. Today's class is a real challenge, and the standard compares with the advanced level evening classes for grown-ups. Actually, the girls follow this through, even to modeling the finished garments, which in turn develop self-confidence and poise. As we said, apart from whatever academic knowledge they acquire, these girls are certainly going to make efficient housewives in a few years' time. The school is actually divided into eight self-contained houses, each containing a cross-section of the school population, with their own furnished flats, dining rooms and club rooms. Another incentive for pupils in the domestic science class is a regular invitation to lunch extended by them to their parents, and as you'll gather, the spread makes a far cry from the old days of unappetizing sausage rolls and rock cakes. The basic way of life of the school is admirably expressed in the words of the ancient Greek Pericles in his oration on the Athenian ideal. The secret of happiness is in freedom, and the secret of freedom is in courage. And if those sentiments seem a bit strange for a school, the headmaster and domestic science teacher join mothers at the first meal, perhaps to assure them it's quite safe. It's pleasant to reflect that what is exceptional in this school today may be quite commonplace in a few years' time. Undoubtedly, our educational system has come a long way since the days when school was merely a place to play truant from and to leave as soon as one could.